Hi, Sandra. I can hear you. Hey, good evening, ladies and just ladies today. How are you? How's everything? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's uh, how's your Friday? Um, um, my day was really, really good. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Yes. All right. All right. Um. Why? What happened? How? Yeah. What happened? Um. Nothing important, but I, I have to work in my clinic, and the, there it was busy. Uh. But in the afternoon, I was studying um, English. <laughs> oh, okay, nice, nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Were you studying the use of unless and only? Yeah. Only if. <laughs> yes. All right. Actually, I, 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 I have a good idea because, uh, letter I. Uh, I wasn't understand very well. You were not understanding very well. No, because I I I need mm, I need to uh, <laughs> to be more more um, uh, more examples or more videos. Ah. Oh. I was um, watching the videos and uh, in the platform and the YouTube, and uh, that that is um, uh, help me to understand better. 
Okay. All right. Okay, that's that's great. That's great. All right. So, anyways, um, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna continue talking about second conditionals, but now we're not gonna talk about don't leave or um, nor nor unless, right? So uh, it's time for us to talk about even if, okay? Which is also a little bit complicated. It's not, it's not really complicated. It's just use it in the same way as you it in Spanish. That's that's the only reason I don't understand why you think this is complicated because it's the same as in Spanish, right? I will go to the market unless, you know, I didn't have money, right? So usually know that unless will be used with positive and negatives or negatives and positives, right? And then only if will be used with, you know, negative negatives or positive positives, right? I would only do it, you know, I, I I will do it, I would do it only if you come with me, right? You came with me, sorry, right? So so that it's you know that, that that's pretty much it, right? Usually no big science behind it. But anyways, we do have to move on because we have to talk about even if and we have to talk about um the use of um uh, wishes right so, so let's see right all right guys so i don't know if we're gonna have to we're gonna have everybody here today because because it's friday so for some reason, all the guys decided not to come. So right, it's, it's girls night today. So tonight, right? So anyways, let's talk about even if, okay? Let's, uh, let's talk about the last part of second conditionals and how to use even if. So we're gonna go over the definition, you know, we're gonna uh, talk about how to use even if in, um, you know, in the real conditional and the difference from even if and if okay so let's talk about it okay so okay guys let's go back to second conditional right then i have a few topics for you to practice so all right so anyways so let's go back to the structure of a second conditional what's the structure of a second conditional guys Girls, what's the structure? Subject, go. Okay, so we have subject plus would. Not good, right? Good is, I am good. Good. Uh -huh. Subject plus right. would. Verb in present simple. So basically we can say present conditional, right? All right, so but let's let's okay, let's go into details. Okay. So all right, I would verb in base form. Base form. Right. Plus a complement, right? Uh -huh. Plus simple past. Correct? Yes. All right. We're good. Okay. So now pay close attention because I'm going to try to explain this as easily as possible. Okay. So even if, guys, even if it's used for surprises, okay, what do we use it for? Surprises. surprises. All right. Something unexpected. Okay. It's not. So like surprise, you know, I brought you a gift. No, something unexpected, okay? An unexpected result, okay? You can even say surprises, you know, meaning, right? Unexpected results, okay? Some results that you don't expect, all right? Let's say that you have, you know, let's, let's pretend you have, you know, you have, uh, you know what? 
we're gonna have somebody else here. This is not gonna be my usual drawing, right? Oops. Whatever, okay. All right, so you have a very no guy here, right? I don't know, this is gonna be, um, what was this guys? Okay, this is Cheyenne, okay? <laughs> Now, now you know what? You know, Chan has been singing for how long? Chayanne, pero más barato, right? So, Chayanne has been singing for how long, guys? Tell me. Two years. Two years or two years? Two years, right? It's two years. For two years? Really? Chan's been singing for two years. So Chan is... Oh, I thought you said single. No. <laughs> How do you know he's been single for two years? <laughs> no, I don't know. It's something that we made up. <laughs> okay. No. How long has, has he been singing for? Singing. Singing. I think about 20 years at least. I think he's 60. Uh -huh. I think he's, yeah, he's like 60 now, right? Or like 55. And he started singing when he was like 15. So he's been singing for at least, you know, 40 years. You know, so Cheyenne. She has been singing for 40 years. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are old. Okay. <laughs> All right, so he's been singing for 40 years now. All right, so now, okay, so what would be, let me ask you something. What would be a surprise? So if you know that Cheyenne has been singing for 40 years, what would be a surprise for you from Cheyenne? Tell me. He's a whole? He's old? He's an mm. old man? He's an old man? Being an old man? Yeah. Mm, nope. For not a year, person. he's not an old man. No. No, guys, are you listen to my question. I'm, I'm going to type it in here, okay? Because I think you did not understand my question. Okay. So Cheyenne's been singing for 40 years, right? So we know that. <clears throat> okay, so this is a fact, okay? Cheyenne, Cheyenne has been singing for 40 years. So my question to you was, you know, what would be a surprise, you know, a surprise for you knowing this fact maybe that uh, maybe his wife is a problem no okay right let me change the uh, question so then what would be a okay what would be something all right something unexpected for you knowing this fact you know what fact is guys i think uh um, a surprise will maybe um, Cheyenne stop to sing. Okay. All right. Okay. We can use that kind of. Yes. All right. We can say, okay. Okay. Something unexpected would be. So basically, what I'm asking you is, ¿qué le sorprendería sabiendo que Cheyenne ha estado cantando por 40 años? ¿Qué le sorprendería del hecho de que ha estado cantando por 40 años? ¿Qué sería algo que no se esperan sabiendo que ha estado cantando por 40 años? That's my question. That he give it up. Okay, so you're saying the same thing, right? So <laughs> he stopped singing, okay? All right, what else, he guys? What else? He lost her, his voice? That would be unexpected after singing. Okay, right? He 
you know, he um he not Lost. no well he loses his voice, okay. What mm -hmm. else? He married. <laughs> No, but but listen, listen. Pay attention, guys. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about any surprise, okay? All right. I'm talking a surprise related to the fact that he's he has been singing for forty years. ¿Qué te sorprendería de al del hecho de que ha estado cantando por cuarenta años? Que se case, no, right? Es como es. Right. Eso no tiene relación con con el hecho de que ha estado cantando por 40 años, ¿ok? I need something related yes, to the fact that it's been, he's been singing for 40 years, ¿ok? I'm sorry, what did you say? You were giving me another example. He won a premio for, for your... He, get, he gets an award? For your things? But that's not a surprise. If he has been singing for 40 years, that is something that you expect or you don't expect. Guys, if he has been singing for 40 years, do you expect him to get a reward or, or an award or not? Uh, that's... Yes. Yes. yes, right? Yes. Okay, so this is incorrect because I want you to tell me something that you do not expect. All right? Something that you do not expect. Mm -hmm. That every song he creates became to a uh, success. No, but that's that's no. not all right. No, no, knowing the fact that he's been singing for 40 years, what is something <laughs> unexpected? I'll, I'll tell you what, okay? Let's say he can't sing anymore. What about this? Would would mm -hmm. that surprise you? Yeah. Yeah. He's been singing 40 years and he can't sing now, right? He okay. forgets he, he forgets his songs. All right, very good. Okay, very good. He very good. That one is good. He forgets the lyrics. The lyrics. Right? Of his songs. He forgets, you know, his songs lyrics. He, right, he sings reggaeton instead of uh, romantic music. Okay, right? He sings <laughs> I have no idea how to spell <laughs> reggaeton and I don't care. All right, so he sings reggaeton, right? Very good. He good sings uh, rancheras instead of uh, romantic. All right. So another, okay. He sings rancheras, okay. But but now it has to be related to the fact that he's been singing for forty years, right? Don't forget that. Don't forget that. You're giving me things that are not related to that. It needs to be related, okay? Okay. All right. It needs to be related to singing for forty years. So, again, right, ¿qué le sorprendería de alguien que ha estado cantando por 40 años? A mí me sorprendería que ya no pueda, ya no sepa cantar, right? Pero si me decís que se va a casar, eso no tiene relación con 40, singing for 40 years, right? Or having kids, right? No, that has nothing to do with singing. I need something related, right? But that's okay. Let's, let's take a look at the examples, okay? So here we can say, all right? So we can say, uh, let's see, let's say he can't sing now, right? We can say Cheyenne, <clears throat> right? Cheyenne, um, would not be able to sing anymore, even if, you know, even if he sang for 40 years. Okay. Okay. You can, of course, you can use other tenses, right? Chan would not be able to sing anymore, even if he sang for 40 years. Or you can say Cheyenne would not um, would not um, 
know how to sing. Nowadays, even if he sang for 40 years. Okay, so that will be a surprising fact, right? And we can say this, guys, of course, we can say this in, you know, in, in, the, in first conditionals, right? So, so, so even guys, even, even if it is, you know, if we're talk if we're talking about second conditionals, right, we can use it in another tenses too, right? As long as it is something surprising, right? So we can say that, right? And we can say, can we say guys, um, can we say, even if he sang for 40 years and then comma, And then even if Cheyenne, here we need to see even if Cheyenne, right? Saying for 40 years, right? He would, he would not forget his lyrics. Okay, this is something surprising, right? Even if Cheyenne sang for 40 years, he would not forget his lyrics. Okay, so that means that, oh my God, it's surprising that after 40 years, you know, he still knows the lyrics, right? Okay, so it's something surprising, okay? You can say, even if Cheyenne sang for 40 years, I would still not go to his concerts, all right? because my mom would still fall in love. Got it? What am I saying here? Hey, incluso, incluso si Cheyenne, right, cantó por 40 años, yo todavía no iría a sus conciertos porque mi mamá todavía se enamoraría de él. Got it? So, so we use even if guys in second conditionals again in any conditional actually for surprising facts mm -hmm. for unexpected results. All right. What is another example? Right. Let's let's use right, let's stop talking about chat, right? Let's talk about I don't know. You tell me what to talk about. All right. Um let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Let's use an example from the platform. Even if I were really broke, right? So even if I were really broke, right? Now, question for you guys. Is this, am I, am I broke according to this sentence? Am I broke, broke or not? Am I broke in real life? or not you are not broke i am not right because again because this is an unreal situation got it yeah. all right yeah. we're supposing something right so even if i were broke if i were really broke I'd return the extra money to the bank, right? Return the extra money to the bank, all right? Okay, very good. So the reality, guys, the reality is that I am not broke, okay? The imaginary situation is, you know, imaginary situation one is that I am really broke, okay? And the imaginary situation number two, guys, is what? According to the sentence, 
Return the extra money. Exactly, right? So imaginary situation one, right? I'm sorry. Um, okay. I still return, I return the extra money, right? Return the extra money to the bank. All right. So anyways, so even if I were really broke, I'd return the extra money to the bank, right? So we have this part right here. Hold on, let me change this to black. Okay, so we have, we have, uh, the fact is that I'm not really broke, right? But the situation number one is that I am, I am really broke. It's an imaginary situation. And the second situation is, you know, um, returning, right? I would return, I will return the money to the bank, okay? So the imaginary situation number two is that I would return the money to the bank, right? Hold on, uh, over there, hold on. So this right here, right? So we have again, number one here, right? And then we have number two here. So far, so good? Yeah. All right, yeah. very good, okay. So what is the only difference here? Can I say, guys, can I say this without even? If I were broke, if I were really broke, I returned the money to the, I returned the extra money to the bank. What is the only difference that you see here between using even if and just if? What's the difference? Okay, if you say even if if you, say, if you say, if, if I were really broke, I returned the money to the bank. Is that saying it's correct or not? Yeah or nay, guys, what do you think? I My think dad, we're gonna, we're gonna, no. you, you think it's correct? No. No? Okay. All right. Who says no, guys? Why are you so why are you so shy, guys? Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna watch you guys, right? Que no me diga la respuesta correcta la pego con una regla, right? No. No, it's okay, right? I guys, think, teacher, huh? I think that is the same. I don't no. know. No, it's... All right, hold on. We got Jenny and then Walter. Yes, Jenny. <laughs> I think when you use even if, even if it's because it's an expected result. Mm -hmm. But when you use if, it's reality. All right. So, guys, exactly. So, yeah. the, the thing, guys, is that when we use even if, right, even talks about an unexpected result, okay? Mm -hmm. The thing is this, guys. If I use if, if I were really broke, I wouldn't return the extra money to the bank and this is correct mm -hmm. you know why because is this result expected or an, or an ex you know what guys i think I'm, I'm gonna give you a more real example okay we're gonna do something all right let's pretend that uh let's pretend that uh, what well, walter seems like a very very honest guy okay <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna talk about me Right, let's talk about David. 
So this is David, right? <laughs> All right. You know what? So I'm walking. You know, I'm walking down the street. I'm actually kind of running from the police, perhaps. I don't know. Right? Okay. And I have a bag with me. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. I'm running. You know, I'm jogging. Right? And suddenly, guys, I find a suitcase. All right? I find a suitcase laying on the street. You know, containing a lot of money, guys, right? So I have a lot of bijuju over here, right? <laughs> All right. So I got a lot of money, right? Yes. All right. So we have a lot of money, right? And this is like, let's say that this is like, mm, Ten thousand dollars. You know what? One hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So now, All right. so this is David, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about you, right? So, this money, guys, right? I found it laying on the street, and let's pretend that I found it, right? If you think about the regular Salvadorian, right, or like the regular person in the world, right? It's not because we're Salvadorian; we're just people. So you know what? I am a teacher, right? Do you think that I earned a lot? Of, that I earned a lot of money? I think yes. <laughs> I'm broke, right? <laughs> I am broke. <laughs> I am broke, right? Because I'm a teacher. <laughs> All right. So now, if I found ten, a hundred thousand dollars. Do you expect me, and be honest, do you expect, and, and this is, of course, guys, right? I might not be broke, right? It's just an example, but let's say this is somebody else, right? I'm just putting myself as an example, but, but do you expect, guys, someone who runs into $100,000 on the street, do you expect them to return them to the bank or not? No. 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 Hey, very no. good, okay? No. no. Very good, very good. So now. The expectation, right? So we're gonna talk about the expectation, okay? So the fact, right? So we're gonna do it, do it in, you know, we're gonna do it in a different way this time, right? So the fact is that, you know, David is broke, right? Now, the reality is, or the expectation is, you know, let's talk about fact two, you know, he finds a hundred thousand right a hundred thousand be you use right hundred thousand dollars okay laying on the street okay okay and then the expectation from everybody right will david return it to the bank or not the expectation is no he would not mm -hmm get the money you know or return the money right to the bank right <laughs> sounds good this good. is the expectation right very good okay so if david okay let's say let's say that i actually you know what yeah i guess you know one hundred thousand dollars to take it to the bank for the government and rich people, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so this is the reality, right? I'm gonna be running guys with the suitcase, okay? Sounds good. All right, very good, right? I don't know, guys. I don't know, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it, right? This is the expected result. Now, if that is the expected result, guys, I'm gonna say, right, even if I were broke, okay, let's use the same example. Okay. So even if I were broke, right? I cannot use even. If I were broke, I wouldn't return the money to the bank, okay? So we're using guys if for an expected result, got it? Mm -hmm. That is the difference, okay? We are using if 
for an expected result. Sounds good? So far, is it good? Yes. All right, so, okay, so now, let's say, you know, that we have Honest David, and, and this actually, I wouldn't take it to the bank, guys, but um, in reality, if you I ever found, if you ever found, you know, $100,000 laying on the ground, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. You know, I would say it's dangerous, right? <laughs> it's not, you, you don't get money as easily, you know? So I would probably just, you know, leave it there and call the police or something. Um, so anyways, okay, so let's say that I take it, guys, you know, that I take it to the bank, okay? All right. I don't know why I'm why why I'm doing that part, guys, but whatever. Right? So this is the bank, right? Okay, so I'm taking it to the bank. Okay. So now is that guys, the expectation is that I would not return the money to the bank. So I returned it, right? So that is expected or, or unexpected. Unexpected. <laughs> Unexpected, right? So in that okay. case, I'm going to say even, even if I were really broke, I would this time, right? I would return the money to the bank. Okay. So far, so good. Yes, guys, or no? Oh, so, teacher, when you use only clause E, uh, it's an expect situation. I'm talking about even if. But when you use even if, it's an expect. If I, if I use if, it's, it's, expect. it's, it's an expected situation. Okay. If I use even if, it's unexpected, right? It's something okay. unexpected. Okay. All right, very good. So for example, um, I'm hungry. I am hungry, right? Mm -hmm. So I can say, right, so my name is David, right? So I want you to <laughs> give me a sentence, you know, I want you to create an example right now, guys, okay? So the fact right now is that David is hungry. Starving. I'm starving, right? I'm starving and you guys don't let me eat. I'm kidding, guys. So I'm, I'm hungry, right? I'm hungry. And the fact is that um the fact is that I I would buy, you know, I would order. No, 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 no. The other fact is that um no, no. The expectation is there's no no factor right the expectation is you know that i would <clears throat> i will what is the expectation that i would order food guys because I, <laughs> I don't want to cook i don't want to cook right now but i'm hungry so i'm gonna order food perhaps right all right very good so this is the expectation right so i want you guys to create a second conditional sentence using the fact that i am hungry and knowing that I would order food, right? But remember, even if it's just for unexpected results, okay? So how do you do that? How would you do that? Let's go. Give me your examples. Give me your examples, ladies and gentlemen from the flood universe. <coughs> Hey, how do I lower my hand? A oh, lower hand. There you go. What? Do it. Do it in your notebook, guys. So I'll ask you in a moment. Okay. So do it in your notebook.
All right. Okay. All right, so what do we have? Even if they be were hungry, mm -hmm. he wouldn't order food because he didn't enough, enough money. All right, very good. Because he doesn't have enough money, right? Or he wouldn't have enough money in this case, right? He wouldn't. Very good. All right, good job. I like that, okay. Uh, anybody else, guys? Go ahead, don't be, don't be shy. Oh my God. <laughs> Even if you apologize, she will never it's forgive you. Okay, but if that, that's okay, but is that second conditional? Is that a second conditional or a first conditional? That is a first conditional, right? Yeah, you're right. All right, very good, very good. And okay, Patricia, what do you have, Patricia? I would order food even if I... But we're talking about David, right? Yes, yes, right. but... Um, he, would or, he would order food mm -hmm. even if... He, um, I don't know. <laughs> Even if he doesn't um, doesn't have cash. Okay, right. He would order food even if he doesn't have cash. Okay, that's that's good. Good job, right? Very good. Walter, what do you have, Walter? Well, I don't have any, any answers. All right. I needed to come up with I needed to come up with an example because I need to make sure that you understand, okay? So is hey, that a question? Sure. Yes, yes, please. Go ahead. He wouldn't come to the party even if we invited him. Okay, very good, that's good. All right, uh, good job. Uh, thank you, Nicole, Nicole, right? Yes. All right, uh, what about you, Jenny? What do you have? I say. Uh-huh. I say. Oh, okay, I... I'm sorry. Okay, so you were the one saying it. Okay, Evelyn, what do you have, uh -huh. Evelyn? Okay, and even if David were hungry, he wouldn't order he wouldn't order food while teaching his class. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, uh, Sandra, what do you have, Sandra? No, okay. Uh, Joaquin. Okay, teacher. Um, even if David were hungry, really hungry, uh, I will, I will order food for him. Okay, even if David. We're hungry, I would order food for him. Yes. But that's not um <laughs> no. No, that's that's not is how is that unexpected? So even if David were hungry, I wouldn't I would order food for him. That that is something it's expected, right? Mm. So you, you can't use it with something that is expected. The right way of saying it would be, even if David were hungry, I wouldn't order, order food for him. Mm -hmm. That would be a better way of saying it. Okay. 
I wouldn't okay. order, right? All right, Catherine, what do you have, Catherine? Mm -hmm. mm, okay, very good. Uh, Helen. Um, he wouldn't finish the task on time, even if we helped him. Very good. That's a good example. Daniel, what do we have, Daniel? Okay. Even if they were really hungry, he wouldn't eat anything because he's still on a diet. Okay. Very good. Exactly. Very good job. Okay. Very good. You got it, guys. You got it. Okay. So for unexpected results, guys. Very good. So far, so good, guys. Do we have any question? All right. Tell me something else that is unexpected, guys. Let's see. Let's say that, um, let's say that Walter, right? That Walter becomes, and this is the fact, right? So fact is going to be Walter becomes a politician. So what is the expectation if Walter becomes a politician, guys? He wants a lot of money. <laughs> he, okay, he earns a lot of money. What else? He will lie. He will lie. Everybody. He will lie. Okay, very good. <laughs> he lies. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. He promised and that's that's not what? fulfilled. He what? He promised and that's not fulfilled. He, fulfilled. Prom he, he makes promises uh -huh. and not fulfilled. And doesn't right fulfill them. Very okay. good. Good job. I like yeah. this. Okay, right. So guys. I want you to do something, okay? So you have three expectations here, all right? We have expectation one, he earns a lot of money. Expectation two, expectation two is that he makes promises and he doesn't fulfill them, right? Okay, and he lies, sorry. Expectation two is that he lies. He lies. All right, number three is he makes he makes a lot of promises and does not fulfill them, right? Okay, so one, two, and three, guys. So, all right, so I want you guys to give me and pay attention, guys, because you give me- Other, other. He wants me, to stay in power for a long time. Okay, very good, so another one, right? Right, he- wants to stay in you know in power for a long time okay all right so i want you guys to do this in your notebook you're gonna give me the four sentences in second conditional using even if you know how to use even if right so you have to use you have to give me one about this one another one about this this and this okay so let's go, let's, let's do that.
All right. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Show me what you got, ladies and gentlemen. Even if Walter becomes a politician, he wouldn't like. Very good. Just remember something. It's second conditional, right? So we need the structure of a second conditional. And that is simple past, correct? You said if, even if Walter becomes, that is the structure for a first conditional. Mm -hmm. Became. All right, so say it one more time, please. Even if Walter became a politician, he wouldn't like. He wouldn't, not wouldn't, wouldn't. Wouldn't. Wouldn't, right, very good. Good job, finish them all. Did you, did you finish them all, all four of them? All right, let's finish all four of them, right? But that is correct. Thank you, Jenny. Let's go, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. A hey, teacher. Tell me. Okay. Even if Walter becomes a politician, he will fulfill every promise that he said. Good job. It's promise. And remember, it's a you're telling me, you're giving me a first conditional sentence. Ah, okay. I want a second conditional sentence, right? Okay. I I have one example. Teacher. Go ahead. Walter becomes a politician, uh, even if he promised to say the truth in his speech. First of all, it's promise. And secondly, you need to follow the structure of a second conditional, right? Uh, okay. If goes together with simple past. Uh, okay. Right? If... So if with simple past and then a present con a, 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 a present conditional, right? I would return. <clears throat> Teacher, I have mine. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, even if Walter became a politician, he wouldn't earn a lot of money to pay his debts. Very good. Good job. That's good. All right. Complete all four of them, right? All four. All four, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, another one is he uh even if Walter became a politician, he wouldn't lie to his followers. Good job, perfect. Number three. Uh well, even if Walter became a politician, he would fulfill his promises. promises. Good job, very good, good job. And okay, number four. One, uh huh. Even if Walter <laughs> became a politician, uh, he wouldn't stay in power for a long time. Very good job. Hey, teacher, uh, another. Perfect. Tell me, tell me. Even if Walter became a politician, he wouldn't pay any taxes for every income that earned. Okay, that is good. But, okay, but, hey, listen, guys, I'm going to say something in Spanish. Uh, yeah. El ejemplo que está casi bueno, porque la verdad es que te, me está dando algo que se espera. Eso se utiliza para cosas que son inesperadas, inesperadas, ah, okay. right? Ah, okay. right? Y, okay. y también les dije, hey, 
Aquí están las cosas que ustedes me van a dar ejemplo. Cuatro ejemplos de esto, de eso que tenemos aquí, right? Right, these are the things that you need to make examples about, right? It was good, it was good. It's just, you're giving me an example. First of all, not the example that I asked for. And secondly, it needs to be something unexpected, right? All right, just think about it, even if it's, even in Spanish, guys, okay? Incluso si me vuelvo un político, right? Me robaría todo el dinero. No tiene sentido porque se espera que te robes todo el dinero, right? <laughs> Got it? All right. Yeah, so. That is, you need to say, no me robaría. That is unexpected, right? All right, very good. So, all right, so let's go. So who else got them all, guys? Go ahead. Even if Walter became a politician, he wouldn't want to stay a power for a long time because he is a democratic person. All right. Even if Walter became a politician, he wouldn't stay in power for a long time. Okay. okay, very good, good job. Okay, Joaquin says even if Walter became a politician, he really wouldn't keep his promises. Very good. Good job, good job, Joaquin. That is perfect. All right, Walter, do you want to give me another one? Um, <laughs> even if Walter became a politician, became a politician, a politician. Okay, he will give <laughs> his money. Uh, to uh, I don't know how do you say that, and a scholarship or institution rebates. I don't know. All right, he would, give, he, would to give, he would give, he would, he would give out his money to charity, donate, donate, to donate his money to charity. All right, that yeah. one is good because nobody expects that from a politician, right? Yeah, very good, very good. All right, very good. Uh, good job, good job, All right. What else? Do you want to try it again, Patricia? Uh, <laughs> um, <Good>. even, <clears throat> even if Walter became a, a becomes a politician, became a, became a politician, he wouldn't make li makes lie. He wouldn't what? Mm. He, he wouldn't lie. You mean? He wouldn't lie. No, lie. he wouldn't lie. He wouldn't lie. Lied. Lie, yes, he wouldn't lie, right? That's good. That that one is good, right? So even, right, even if Walter became a politician, he, right, he wouldn't lie. Very good. So see, good job. Right, who's got... Uh, Daniel, do you have do you have an example? Daniel, okay. Um, even if Walter Hill became a politician, uh, he would love to earn a lot of, a lot of money. Okay, even he if Walter love. became politician, he wouldn't what? He wouldn't love to earn a lot of money. He wouldn't. Love to or like, or like. Mm -hmm. he love or like. like. He wouldn't like to earn a lot of money. Lot of money. Yeah. Very good. All right. Very good. I like this, guys. I like this. Okay. Very good. So, see, guys, right? So, even if guys is going to be used for unexpected results, okay? Unexpected situations. Got it? So, it's basically, guys, second conditional. You add even, even, and it's just, you know, used to talk about something that you do not expect. Simple as that, all right? So okay. far is it good? Yes. All right, you're doing good, guys, you're doing good. Guys, <laughs> um, practice, okay? Practice, 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 practice. There's something guys called ChatGPT, if you haven't heard about it. You can practice with ChatGPT, do you know that? You can treat it as a human. You can tell them, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you know that? 
have you heard about ChatGPT? No. No. <laughs> no. It's artificial intelligence. Yes, yeah. I know. Look it up. Look it up. But, but yeah, you can you can practice with it. You know, if you if you want to write, you can say you know teach me and practice me with me. You know, the use of inibinib. Right? It's very cool. Very cool. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> the upcoming days, right? So, um, so, yeah, guys, I'll see you on Monday, right? Take care, guys. See you on Monday. Bye. Good night.